This example is taken from the Department of Education 2019 revision booklet. The focus will be the table at the bottom, the worked example. I've left the notes there for you to read at your leisure. But uh, in terms of the uh, example we're going to look at now, we are looking at this table as presented before us. Sometimes with the table or the examiner, the prices that are indicated, like in the third column there, they sometimes indicate that the prices have VAT and sometimes they are excluding VAT and at a later stage you must include the VAT. It all depends on what the examiner wants. Normally you'll have a question. The first type of question that's placed to you is where they give you the amount of water used and you need to find out the amount the person has to pay and the other variation is where they give you the price of the the person has to pay and then they tell you to work out the amount of water that the person has used. Those, these are the two types of questions that can be presented to you and we will be looking at the first example where Marcus used 21 kiloliters of water during a certain month and we need to calculate the total cost uh, that he would have to pay. For the purposes of teaching you I've placed the table at the top so you can refer as I'm explaining. All I've done in this first step here that's below the table is taken the first column of the uh, table where you get the different uh, groupings of the uh, kiloliters from 0 to 6 and so on and I've placed it on a number line to show you and give you a better understanding of what exactly we are about to do. Your teachers would have showed you either the number line method or the table method but I will present both and you can decide which works best for you. What I've done next is looked at the last column of the table and taken down those rates. So basically by reading it, you would see from 0 to 6, it would be free. And then from 6 to 10, you'll see I'd be charged 521 and so on. And this is what I've done on the number line. In this step here, all I've done is in each interval, I'm indicating how much of water is being used. So from 0 to 6, I use 6 kiloliters from 6 to 10 that will be 10 minus 6 is 4 and the third one will be 10 to 15 will be 15 minus 10 is 5 and so on I've done it until I reach 21 because Marcus has used 21 now if you add up all those numbers at the bottom you will see I arrive at 21 this means that when I'm in the interval from 20 to 30 I will only be using one kiloliter so by reading this table here, all I'm saying is that I take the amount of water I used and multiply it by the top numbers and that is exactly what I write and I continue this until I arrive at my answer. For instance, it will be 6 times 0 which will be 3 in the first interval. The second interval it will be 4 times 521. Third interval it will be 5 times 787 and so on until I arrive at the 21 kiloliters and I add all that up and I arrive at my answer. Now the same information can be used in the table method. Now what you see below the number line is the table method where you get three columns. One is the kiloliters, then you do your calculations and then you have your totals and I will show you how this works in the next step. So if you look at the first line of the table, the first one is the intervals. Zero to six is my interval. So the calculation shows that in that interval, I'm only using 6 kiloliters. So 6 times 0 because I know that it is free and I arrive at a subtotal which is on the side on the third column of 0. Now reading from the top table, we see in our second row, we have from 6 to 10. So this I indicate on my table at the bottom, 6 to 10. But in the 6 to 10, I know that I'm only using 4 kiloliters so I'll multiply that 4 times 521 which is the rate and I arrive at my subtotal on the right hand side. Now we continue doing, doing this until we realize that we must reach the amount of 21 kiloliters but thus far if you look at this table here in the center column of the bottom table we have 6 in the first row plus 4 in the second row and plus 5 and another 5 that gives us 20 so we have not reached the 21 so we just need one more in order for us to complete our calculations as you can see just like the number line when it comes to 20 to 30 we are only multiplying by 1 times 13 rand because we only need that 1 kiloliter to make our total of 21 kiloliters which Marcus used 
So it's important that we present our totals in a line as indicated below the table for the examiner to see it. When you multiply the um, number line as I've explained to you initially, you will arrive at these totals here as presented just like from the um, table. We arrive at our final answer as indicated. And remember that if you apply the number line method as indicated in the top, you will find that when you do the multiplications, you will arrive at the same answer. But make sure you present your various intervals to the examiner and show your multiplications. In our next video, we will look at the other type of question that can be asked you in the exams.